Namo Puthai, this is Abhinav Gulecha and uh, in this video I am sharing my learnings from the middle discourses 45 which is titled the shorter discourse on taking up the practice practices right so in this the link to the entire discourse is given in the comments uh, sorry in the description so you can read the full discourse uh, and get your own insights uh, I am just kind of sharing a kind of a learning summary so Buddha here basically shares four ways of taking up the practice to the mendicants so what are the four ways number one they there is a way of taking up practices that are pleasant now but result in the future pain right the practices that are pleasant now but they result in pain second way is taking up practices that are painful now and they result in future pain now also they are painful and the future also they are they will create pain third way of taking up the practices is that they are painful now but they result in the future pleasure and the fourth way of taking the practices is which are pleasant now and result in the future pleasure right so let us discuss one by one all the four so the first way what buddha says first uh, uh, practice which is pleasant in the now but result in the future pain is pain is buddha is saying that there are some ascetics and brahmins who have this doctrine and view that there is nothing wrong in sensual pleasures right it's all fine to engage in sensual pleasures they throw themselves into sensual pleasures cavorting with female wanderers with fancy hairdos they say what they, they basically say that what is this thing that they say that we should give up sensual pleasures uh, pleasant is the touch of this female wanderers arm tender soft and downy and they throw themselves into sensual pleasures when their body breaks up after death they are reborn in a place of loss a bad place the underworld hell and they feel sharp painful sensations they say that this is that future danger that those ascetics and brahmins saw those those ascetics and brahmins who were saying that we should give up the the sensual pleasures for it is because of sensual pleasures that i am feeling painful sharp severe acute feelings right so here in this regard there is also this this simile of a, a camel foot creeper pod that is buddha is giving like a you know a, a tree or with the seeds you know uh, around and then the seeds sprout and then the weeds they circle the tree and they destroy the tree that is how when you are engaged in the sensual pleasures you think it is all right what is the fault you know better enjoy you know engage in sensual pleasures right but then this is the future pain that will come right so that's why as followers of the buddha definitely we are lay people we are not mendicant but still some kind of restraint we need to have in sensual pleasures right so any kind of sensual pleasure through any of the sight uh, say eyes mouth nose touch smell hearing some restraint we, we should observe right so otherwise if we just leave it open then it will create pain for us because what it does a sense engaging in sensual pleasures does is that it strengthens our uh, negative uh, tendencies right through the constant engagement it creates more and more craving it binds us more and more into this world and it may lead us to doing something wrong things which can lead us to lower realms so lot of pain is there so engaging a restraint more becoming more mindful of the five senses which need we need to practice second thing what is the way of taking up a practice that is painful now and result in future pain this is where buddha is saying about the all the extreme practices that people do right uh, especially at buddha's time the practices which were done by the jain ascetics right very very extreme practices harming the body which buddha also said, did right for some time and they, he realized that it is wrong to give that kind of pain to the body it doesn't lead lead a person to anywhere right so buddha says it's when someone goes naked ignoring conventions they lick their hands they don't come or wait when called they don't consent to food being brought them or the food prepared on purpose for them or an invitation for the meal they don't receive anything from a pot or a bowl or from someone who keeps sheep or who has that means very very kind of a you know those practices that they do not accept no fish meat liquor or wine drink no beer they just go to just one house for arms sometimes they only eat once a day sometimes they eat only once a week that kind of practices they squat committing to persisting in the squatting position they lie on a mat of thorns making a mat of thorns their bed 
they are committed to the practice of immersion in water three times a day all when their body breaks up after death they are reborn in a place of loss a bad place the underworld hell right so so that is where the practice itself is painful the the result itself is painful right the practice is painful the result is painful now coming to what is the way of taking a practice that is third number what is the way of taking the practice which is painful now but results in future pleasure now here the answer is it's when someone is ordained ordinarily full of acute greed hate and delusion they often feel the pain and sadness that greed hate and delusion bring ordinarily full of acute the person is full of acute greed hate and delusion they feel the pain and sadness that the greed hate and delusion they, what they, it brings it's the pain that it brings so in the present they are in pain they lead the full and pure spiritual life in pain and sadness weeping with tearful faces when their body breaks up after death they are reborn in a good place so buddha he is creating this distinction that they are in pain but they live a pure spiritual life in accordance with the teaching of buddha and when they are when they reborn they are reborn in a good place a heavenly realm this is the way of taking up a practice which is painful now but results in future pleasure and the last fourth number is what is the way of taking up the practice that is pleasant now but results in future pleasure so buddha says it is when someone is not ordinarily full of a uh, greed hate and delusion that is like people who are you know they are not full of those negative qualities they rarely feel the pain and sadness that greed hate and delusion bring secluded from sensual pleasures secluded from unskillful qualities they enter and remain in the first absorption second absorption third absorption fourth absorption when their body breaks up they are reborn in a good place a heavenly realm that is called the way of taking up the practices that is pleasant now and results in future pleasure these are the four ways of taking up the practices this is what the buddha said satisfied the mendicants approve what the buddha said so basically these four ways are there so what learning is not engage in sexual pleasures practice restraint practice mindfulness of sense pleasures second do not engage in very extreme practices follow the middle path what the buddha has given right third is and very very important thing even if in this life you are facing sadness pain you know we all have lot of problems in our life even if you are weeping with tears you practice the path of the buddha you practice the noble eightfold path what basically you will be reborn in a good realm right so let us focus on that we are not all pure uh, of everything we all have greed hatred and delusion but we can we can at least do our bit right to follow the path be pure be kind spread peace and love right what is the eightfold path and fourth is definitely if someone is at that level that he is he or she is free from the greed and everything so then just devote yourself more and more into the practice be more and more in seclusion practice meditation go through the four absorptions and that is the practice which is pleasant in the now and pleasant uh, at the end right so this is just uh, i hope you got some insights at your end from this discourse do read the discourse and share your insights and comments uh, insights in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya